we are going to go over the setup for your Bluetooth keyboard and mouse combo. Now, what you will need first is a wired mouse and keyboard or a dongle mouse and keyboard functioning and ready to go to help us with our setup. You will need one of those at least. That way we can plug that into our first lane and have that functioning to actually get everything connected. We'll just keep moving that from lane to lane and, and keep setting up. So let's get into our new mouse and keyboard setup. We're going to be using the Bluetooth function. It's a much better connection. Uh, they will come provided with dongles. They have both abilities. So uh, you've got your dongle here secured magnetically on the back. Go ahead and store this. You can plug in the dongles if you have room uh, as a backup. But I would suggest just storing them for now. We're going to use our Bluetooth, uh, which is that better connection. So you want to set that aside and then grab out our mouse. Same thing with the mouse here. It will have a separate dongle already secured here for you so that's good to just keep it there unless you're wanting to plug them in we have our batteries so just one double a for the mouse that's going to be provided for you let's get that in there and then let's go ahead and turn on our keyboard here we've got our on off as well as our, our charging source type c let's go ahead and kick that on you'll have a blue light if it's charged and ready to go out of the box they usually will have some charge if not just give them a full charge and start going Let's get on our desktop. Let's say you're, you're working on your first lane. So go ahead and close out of our Axe app, get to the desktop to where yours looks similar to mine. And let's head to the bottom right corner of our screen where we see our little Bluetooth devices icon. Go ahead and click on that and hit add Bluetooth device. Now, depending on your Axe lane setup, this might be hard to see. Another option is to right click on the desktop and hit display settings. There should be a search bar on the top left corner of the settings window we just opened. It is possible that you might need to expand the width of the window for this search bar to appear. You can do this by clicking and dragging one side or using the maximize square in the top right corner. Click in the search bar and start typing blue. Until you see Bluetooth and other device settings, go ahead and click on that. Now, uh, let's start with our keyboard first. So you have an F1, F2, F3 functions here. That's gonna be for your dongle, Bluetooth 1 and Bluetooth 2. Uh, there are two channels for each. That's if you're gonna be using multiple items uh, with one mouse and keyboard, which we are not. So we actually do not care which channel you're on. We're gonna go to our first channel and hold that button down for three seconds until we get a blue flashing indicator light. Now we've got that in pairing mode. We're going to go back to our desktop and hit add Bluetooth or other device. We're going to hit the first option, Bluetooth, mice, keyboard, pins, or audio, and other kind of Bluetooth devices. And now we are searching for this device, which is on discovery mode. Bluetooth 3.0 keyboard. Go ahead and click and connect that. Give it a second there, and now we are ready to go. Now let's go over to our mouse. Same thing here. We have our 2.4, our Bluetooth 1, and our Bluetooth 2. Uh, let's go ahead and make sure we kick that on. Boom. And then clicking once will get you to all the different options. Let's go over to Bluetooth 1. And hold that down for, again, three seconds until we're blinking. We are going to add Bluetooth device. Bluetooth mice, keyboard, pins, audio, same option. And again, we're going to find our BT 3.0 mouse. Blinking in discovery mode. Boom, now we're connected, ready to go. All right, and now we have both connected and Bluetooth just like we want. And we are good to go. Uh, now the indicators on here, if you are starting to run out of battery, you should get a blue blinking light here where the charger uh, little signature is. That's also going to be a green light if you have your cap lock on. The Bluetooth light will continue to flash blue, which is normal. you got about 30 to 60 days of battery life, uh, depending on if you're turning them off every night. A little, little longer battery life out of that. Once you are ready to charge, these awesome hubs are great 
You can plug in your charging cables. That way you have multiple at once. Um, we can turn that on and just plug it directly in. Rotating, you know, four at a time, plugging them in every couple weeks, um, just keeping them all up to speed on charging. Uh, we'll keep where you're really not having to switch anything out. Red indicator will be it's charging. It'll go off when it's fully charged. Um, it's always a good option to label uh, each one of these once you're done. Let's say you're doing lane one. Uh, you can use, you know, a printout label. You can use, you know, a paint pen. You know, however you want to do to kind of mark somewhere on here that this is for lane one. That way we don't get them all mixed up. And always remember, most of these wireless devices have some kind of sleep mode to conserve battery. So if it's left alone for a long amount of time, um, usually a click, shake, a couple some, you know, button smashes there will wake it up. That way you're good to go. And now we're ready to rock with our Bluetooth wireless mouse and keyboard. It's going to have a much better connection for you. You can go ahead and open your app and start playing.